Okay, so I've been telling everybody who listened about your progress. I'm so proud to watch you. <laughs> How have you been feeling? I've been feeling really good. 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 It's been nice to see. Okay, so we're just going to get right into it. I don't want to keep you here for too long. All right. Okay, so... Can you share your overall experience with the program? What were your initial expectations and did the did the program exceed them? Yeah. Um I think I more so came in well, let's say I started like with my reads with you. Like I felt like they were right on. Like it was like, okay, she knows me without knowing me so when i seen your program it was like what do i have to lose like i don't know what to expect but why not i'm on this journey i don't really know what i fully want from this journey or what i'm on it for but something's led me to it so let's take the next step and it led me to want to do it. Um, I wanted to gain like healing with my inner child trauma. That was a huge thing. I had, I believe at the time when we started, I had been talking to two therapists <laughs> and um, I've overcame some stuff, but it was like, Speaking with you, it opened me up with really just like learning to just get in there and like face it. Like there's no candy coat. And with my therapist, it was more so like, okay, you want to talk about it? We can move on from it. But you were like, okay, it bothers you. <laughs> <Call it." laughs> yeah. So, down to the yeah. It helped me with not jumping over it anymore. Um, you can be in therapy for years and you can keep jumping over the same thing and it's not helping, but it helped me with facing the fears of those issues that I had where then now I can continue facing them and healing from them. That's awesome. So what specific changes have you noticed since completing the program? Just Are there any particular areas in your life that you've seen significant growth or transformation? Just my personal growth, like just in general, like I would never say like I'm immature person or anything like that but I think everybody has their moments as adults where they're like am I a grown up or you know like you just want to know like am I doing things right and you know am I where I'm supposed to be but once you finally start facing those fears you start doing the things that you want to do like you open me up to like oh you right but you actually do write. You write really well. Like, and it's like you start really facing those fears. You start chasing after your dreams. And it's like, oh, you are an adult. Like, you do handle things well. You just have to step out of that child that you still want to hold on to. Because that child's always going to be there. But, mm -hmm. and start stepping into the woman that you are. And, it took you for me to find Kinesia to be like, oh, okay, here she is. Like, now let's discover who she is. So I think really through the program itself, just my personal growth um, was super significant. Um, uh, another huge milestone is like, I learned to cry. Like, <laughs> I remember you were like, there's so much stuff you're telling me, like, hey, you don't cry. Like, why don't you cry? <laughs> and yeah, like, I just learned that it's okay to cry. Like, 
it's all right. And it feels good. Like, and I can laugh after it's like, okay, you cried, but I don't know. That was huge to me. And even now it's like, it's okay. And that's good. That's good. Were there any particular healing techniques, exercises, or practices that stood out and that were beneficial to you? Can you describe how they helped you? Your writing prompts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think they were just really impactful with me because I put writing away. So writing was out the picture and people hear of shadow work or they hear of journaling and all this type of stuff but writing is real personal to me and I did it a lot when I was younger but I let that go when it was taken from me because someone disrespected my writing and used it to their own advantage to use it against me so I just stopped writing so when you start giving me writing prompts to say, hey, you know, express yourself through this, see what you can do. It made me really dig deep within myself to be like, how are you feeling? You know, what made you feel this way? Who made you feel this way? And I think even at a point in time, it was like, Kinesia, you don't have to answer all the questions. <laughs> but it opened me up to writing again and I mean here I am I'm writing again so I think that was out of everything and I mean I, a lot of the stuff that I'm still using but out of everything the writing prompts I'm still taking with me and I'm still using daily which is writing I can't wait to read some of it too I'm really excited about that. I'm particularly excited about that. I'm about 80K words into my book right now. Okay. In three months. So, yeah, I'm super excited. So you're <laughs> writing, writing. Yeah, I'm like chapter 20, very close to being finished. Whoa. <laughs> in three months. <laughs> That is fucking <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Yeah, so. So how did the relationship I provide you during the pro program support your personal and spiritual growth? Um, I mean, it goes back to, I think it helped me grow. Um, it helped me mature. It helped me like realize that no, I don't have to accept that relationship, regardless if it's a love relationship or a family relationship, like, or, you know, a religion relationship. Like, I don't have to, like, everything's my choice. Like, I get to make my own decisions. I don't have to do what my family says to do because that's how you're brought up um a lot of people feel like they have to you know follow their family's path or stay in a relationship they don't want to stay in anymore because they've been in it so long or they're just you know used to it but you just told me and the most honest ways like <laughs> you'll see like and you'll do what's best for you but hey this is what I'm seeing and do what makes you happy and I seen you know I was able to see things so I felt like like I took it in my own hands like a lot of just maturing like able to want to protect myself, able to want to protect my niece. Um, in all actuality, just to love myself more. Like, and I think that was something that 34 years of just not having is loving myself. I loved everybody else before I loved myself. And 
this year, I really just took time to say, hey, I love myself before I love you and before I love you. Like, I'm going to choose me before I choose anyone else. And so you really helped me prioritize me before I prior prioritize anyone else. I'm really proud of you for that. I know that was hard. That was a long relationship. You put in a lot of time and effort into that relationship. So I'm very proud that you found, and I know self-love was like one of the main things that you came in here for. Maybe not come in. I know towards the end, that's what you were like, this is what I want. I know I want mm -hmm. to love myself and be comfortable in my own skin. And it's just so happy to see. So reflecting on your journey, what was the most significant aha moment you had during the program? I think, again, that goes back more so to the writing prompts. Um, it just changed a lot. Like, from me, it changed a lot. Like, I'm doing more through my job. I'm doing more writing stuff for my job. Like... I am working on releasing my journals that I've been wanting to do, um, my book. Like, there's just, I'm writing poetry. Like, I have so many poems that I've wrote over the last three months. I just write all the time. Like, and I haven't done that in over a decade. So it's like I found something that I've always loved to do. Um, I don't know. It's just I used it for trauma when I was younger. But now it's like I use it for happiness. Um, Can you explain that a little bit more? Like the difference? When I was younger, I used it to... I, I wrote poetry, but I use it to express my pain of everything that I went through from child molestation to my mother on drugs, just all of the pain that I experienced as a child. And now I'm able to use it to express my happiness, my self-love, my journey of losing weight. Like I'm just able to express me. Like this is why I'm happy. This is why I'm choosing me. This is the goals that I have for myself. Um, even trying to get back in track with like family again which is something that I've sort of pushed to the side but I'm able to say hey I know this family is good but I can shy away from <laughs> these relatives because I know that they're not good so I'm able to make these decisions but my writing I write it and then I can see it and it lets me know hey this is this is it. But before I lost that. So my writing is my guide. What advice would you offer anybody considering my program? I don't know. I strongly recommend it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I do. Like, anyone that is experiencing any, like, identity issues um soul searching childhood trauma teenage trauma adult trauma like i've i had that all like i've as you know suffered from trauma literally from the age of four all the way until now so there was never a break within it. So for me to even 
I think when I was 33, finally took time and was like, I'm going to seek therapy because if I don't seek therapy, I'm no longer going to be here. And I finally had to take that and say, hey, I have to do this because if I want to continue raising my niece and gets her to where she needs to, but for also for me to be happy, I need to do that. But then to find you and it starts from, you know, just from reads, but then to have this opportunity and not know what I'm going to expect from it, but then to get everything that I got out of it plus more, it's, I don't know, it's life changing. Like it was a huge transformation for my life. Um, it broke down a whole bunch of walls for me um, that I feel like the walls are down, but then now I can heal what those walls were covering. Um, that's really just basically juju. I'm, <laughs> I'm a very self-cautious like hey I don't want to spend this type of anything but I had to choose myself to invest in myself and now I see so much potential like it may not be happening right now but I see so much potential that's happening this month next month next year that is about to happen um even writing this book that I've been wanting to write since I was in middle school and to see it prosper and happen within three months, it wouldn't have happened if I didn't take this opportunity to work with you. So what's next for Kinesia? What can we expect from you? My book <laughs> and hopefully others. And I don't know, like I really want to release journals um, to help others like I have a journey. I have a story. I have, I have a story. Um, and I know my story and my path that I took to get there will help others. So I know that too. Yes. And I want you to tell it and tell it and tell it. Your smile is infectious. I say that all the time. I love seeing you <laughs> smile. It's great. <laughs> I really appreciate you taking this time with me today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep reaching out. I want I want a journal. I want a copy of the book. I want to read some of them poems. <laughs> I want all of that. Okay? Oh, Thank you. All right. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.